Hi, this is the 13th part of my Cisco Genji tutorial. Last time we learned about sending log messages to Elasticsearch. Today we learn about updating Cisco Genji along with some of the new features of Cisco Genji 4. Version 4 of Cisco Genji is now available, and the good news uh, is that it, it is fully backwards compatible. If the version string of your configuration is set to uh, 3.x version, it will work as expected even after updating to version 4. That said, I cannot guarantee that you would not run into issues in some of uh, some corner cases, but personally I had no problems even uh, with very complex configurations. The major new feature of Cisco NG4 is type support. When using the uh, JSON and pattern DB parsers, Cisco NG stores the type information alongside name value pairs. You can also set type information using rewrite rules. But uh, why, why is type uh, important? Well, uh, you can use it in two ways. Within Cisco NG, you can use it for comparisons. For example, comparing numbers will work correctly. On the other hand, you can use it uh, for type aware output. Previously, even if Cisco NG parsed types, uh, Properly, all name value pairs were stored as if they were uh, strings. You could hint the type information on the destination side, but it was a painful manual process. A system engine you know, stores uh, type information uh, with name value pairs. The JSON template function and uh, various uh, destinations uh, can uh, now uh, send proper type information. For example, if you extract temperature data from log messages, you do not have to configure the type manually anymore on the Cisco NG side or configure type in the destination uh, database. A Cisco NG sends temperature data as num numbers without any additional configuration. Handling of lists or arrays uh, also improved considerably in this major new release. Today, we will use JSON formatted log messages from sudo 194 or later to demonstrate the differences between, between Cisco NG 3 and 4. The first uh, log path in the following configuration uh, collects log messages and stores them without any further processing or filtering into var log messages. There is also a second log path uh, which selects sudo logs, parses them uh, using the JSON parser, and creates a JSON formatted message from the result. The JSON template function has a few exclusions to make uh, the log messages shorter. So the message macro, uh, which contains the original JSON payload, and any journal macros are discarded. Two new lines at the end of uh, and make the files more human readable. Using this configuration, uh, if you uh, run sudo, you will find the JSON formatted log message in var log messages. Now, uh, take a look at um, what SyslogNG can recreate from the original JSON message. JSON sudo logs are automatically parsed by SyslogNG. This is why you do not see a parser declaration in the above configuration. The JSON template function uh, then tries to recreate the log message from the name value pairs. For the untrained eye, uh, the only difference is that uh, SyslogNG macros like date or facility are now also part of the JSON. However, if you take a more careful look, or if you use an app like JQ to dis display the JSON message, you will catch a few more differences. The list looks slightly different, and the numbers are enclosed in quotes, meaning that they are forwarded as strings instead of numbers. Now it's time to update uh, SyslogNG from version 3 to version 4. As the update process is different on each and every Linux distribution or BSD variant, the exact steps are not in uh, the scope of this tutorial. Once you updated uh, Cisco Genji, it's time for a syntax check. It shows you a couple of warnings. 
what you should change in your configuration or what uh, changed in the behavior of syslang. In this particular case, syslang sends two warnings. Firstly, it reminds uh, you that the current version is 4.1 why the version uh, is set to 3.37 in the configuration. Secondly, it indicates uh, the changed behavior of the JSON template function and shows you how to change the configuration if you want to keep, keep the old behavior uh, with the new configuration version. At first glance, you might not notice, but uh, the JSON generated by uh, syslang4 it's very different from the JSON generated by syslogng3. It is easier to spot the differences with some formatting. Both, both lists and numbers are handled properly by syslogng4. When this tutorial is uh, released, the documentation for syslogng version 4 will not be available yet. You can learn more about the changes from the release notes. Uh, if you use Python to extend syslogng, you can find information about how Python support works in syslogng version 4, uh, also on GitHub. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on YouTube or reach out to me on Twitter or Mastodon.